All right, so this is the uh, GoPro unboxing. I've never owned a GoPro before. Uh, I've seen them, but I've never owned one, never used one. I did watch a video on some of their pictures today. What all did we get? All right. See, we have the Hero 12 Black Accessory Bundle from China. The suction cup, the fetch dog. Oh yeah, I forgot we were getting a dog harness. That'll be fun. And then the Enduro, which I think is the extended battery. So. So you've had to wait a little bit to open this? Yeah, yeah, it actually arrived, what, like, like a week and a half ago? Two weeks ago? Yeah. Something like that? Wait until your birthday here to open it? Yeah. Just some kind of wrap on this. It's got a case, it looks like. So this is actually the 12 black. Um, it's obviously got this cardboard wrapping around it. Let's see if I can get that off without... No, nah, they want you to tear it, so there's a little strip here. There we go. It says GoPro. Of course, we have a dog chewing a bone in the background. Oh yeah, I know. I remember from the video that the camera has to be updated before you use it. So it talks about the GoPro Quick app, which I've already put on my phone. Actually, you're using my phone to film me now, so we'll do that later. Um, this is a selfie stick. Uh, it's kind of strap. Is this the dog strap or harness? Oh no, this is the head strap. Wanna try that on for us? Yeah. <laughs> I got a big head, so I may have to loosen it a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I could do some point of view driving videos with this, yeah? yeah like right like the Topher, some right of those guys. More than our head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, make sure I'm a little unique though. I don't wanna copy people. Um, so I think this, I know this attaches to the bottom of the GoPro that uses a mount system that clips into here. There's like a, somewhere in here is this, there it is. Yeah, somehow it uses this little screw thing. Yeah. And yeah, to, and then I guess this attaches to other things. Uh, so the charging cable. Got another mount screw. I guess there'll be a reason to have two. I don't know maybe one's an extra. Uh, oh, two batteries. Uh, this is part of that accessories package. What was it called? Accessory bundle, yeah. Okay. And then this obviously is one of the things you can attach the mount to somehow. Um, and then it has some 3M stick tape on the bottom, which I don't know what you would want to permanently stick this to. You obviously wouldn't stick this to anything in the car. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to maybe get some ideas on that. I'm sure there are people watching this that know a lot more about this thing than I do. So maybe they'll have some ideas and suggestions for us. And here is the GoPro. This is really small. Oh, wow. Look how I small thought it was probably is. in a substance separate. Yeah. I had no idea it was so small. Yeah, look at that. So, well, I guess if you're going to wear something on your head, yeah, it's got to be pretty be huge. small. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it can't be a huge camera. No. The old 35 millimeter camera up your head. It says on the back here, your camera must be updated before you can use it. Oh, okay. So, we'll need to do that. Um, okay, we'll need. So, that's everything in the accessory bundle. Obviously, there's some guides and other things in here so more looks like a warranty card um okay well that's pretty neat i'll put all that back up in just a minute uh, let's see what else we have three other boxes in here okay this is the dog harness i can tell by the picture so let's look at the dog harness the dogs have no idea that they're about to be internet stars or they're going to be filmers, I guess. Yeah. yeah, filmers. I think the way it mounts, though, you look 
like from their back over their oh, head. Oh, so you can see a little bit of their ears yeah. and stuff in it. Yeah, I guess you could put them reverse and see over their butt or something if you wanted to. But I don't know why you'd want to do that. All right. Okay, this has another inside. I'm not going to take all that out, but it's got another mount and another screw for the mount inside there. And obviously this sits on their back. Oh, interesting. What is that for? Mm, yeah, this is, the little one's the chest plate. And then that goes on the back. So obviously their head goes okay. right through there. Shows you how to get it prepared to put on your dog. And then step four is the dog sitting and it says, grab a treat, sit Fido, sit. <laughs> Not sure that's going to work with Luke, but we'll give it a try. Just be a trick getting, keeping him from putting it in his mouth when I'm trying to put it on him. All right. That's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can produce with that. All right. This is the Enduro battery. Okay, this is a longer lasting plus wide temperature range battery. So I guess in cold weather climates, this is supposed to be better as well. Um, but they're gonna make me rip the box. No, here's another little tab, okay. There we go. I don't know why I don't wanna rip boxes. I guess it's not like I'm gonna return it, but still, it's just something about having everything look original. I still have the original box to my iPod. I think I do too. Back from 2005. All right, that's the Enduro battery. Let me compare it to the other batteries. Huh, it looks the same. Are they all Enduro batteries? Are they, la they, they are labeled differently or anything? <laughs> now I don't know which one was which. I got switched around. Hopefully they're the same thing. Because I don't know now. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, I have to check. Maybe this is accessory package came with Enduro batteries as well. So you got like three batteries now? So you got three batteries. So we're, we're def <laughs> definitely definitely not going to run out of batteries. Yeah, that, probably more than we needed. All right. The last box in the box. When it looks like this is the suction mount for holding the GoPro. Okay. On the vehicle, so on the outside of the vehicle. On, on the outside of the vehicle. Although I'm going to try to do something a little different with it too. I'm going to try to put it on the sunroof on the inside, facing out the front, and see what that looks like. Yeah, you gotta try that first before you, you know yeah, how it mounts too. I'm gonna try that first. Well, have your new GoPro on the road. I need to. Uh, that's one thing too. Is you always want to make sure the paint is really clean wherever you mount this on the outside. You don't want to get dust between the mount and the paint, I wouldn't think, or you might get uh, some scratches. So the mount. So that's, sorry, got the little screw in it. All right. There's the well, suction. That part's cup. pretty big. It's funny because the camera is littler than I thought, and the suction cup's pretty big. It's supposed to have a, an adjustable arm, to. Oh, here's part of it. Hmm. It's not quite as long as I thought it was going to be in the arm part. It looks pretty stout, but I guess there must be something. I have to figure this out. There's a way to connect these. Okay, I think I got it.
that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that gives it enough room if it if that is how it works to hang down from the uh, sunroof. Okay. I think. And then of course I'll have some shots on the side of the car. Maybe we'll try something from the roof or out the back. Who knows? We'll we'll play with it some. See see how it looks. That's it. That's everything that was in the box. So now need to update the GoPro, update the firmware so we can use it and figure out how everything connects together um, and start filming. This is really light. This is like, I mean, it's plastic with a little foam grip on it, but it feels very light. So. Gracie, you done you done chewing your bone, girl? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I thought this would be neat to show because this is very satisfying to pull this off. Oh yeah, I like that. Look how shiny and clear that glass is. All right. Oh, that came off easy. So that's the front, obviously. You have a little screen, you can see what you're shooting. So that's great for when you're uh, pointing at the cam, pointing the camera at yourself. Oh yeah, okay, neat. So you have the uh, this is a start stop button up here. I know this from the video I watched today. Here's the power button. Uh, somehow this side opens, and that's where the S, uh, micro SD card goes. I have to uh, look at the instructions for that later. And then this is your mounting system. Uh, it goes slides in there and then the screw goes in and mounts it to, to your mount. And then the newer ones, the 12s, I'm not sure about the 11s, but the 12s have a little screw here for your standard uh, tripod. So you can screw them on top of a tripod. And there is your microphone pickup. Well, one thing we've discovered that's a little strange is that with all this stuff that the camera comes with, it does not come with a micro SD card. So, and apparently you can't set it up or do anything without the SD card in it. So I'm gonna have to go to Best Buy tomorrow and get a micro SD card, and then we can set the camera up.